Manigar, what are we drawing today? Oh, yeah, uh, this uh, suggestion comes from one of our darkest and deadliest demons. Ooh. You might know him as Eunice Nook. He wants to know, can you draw knockoff Norse gods? Ooh, Ooh. knockoff Norse gods. Yeah, I think we can give that a go. An off-brand god. A god that we can sell merch of and won't get sued by v Valhalla or Asgard. Yeah, exactly. More especially Marvel. Oh, yeah. Yeah, D okay. Disney Marvel. <laughs> now, guys, it's weird to spring this on you so, so suddenly, but... Sure. Uh, we would be more confident if someone besides you also worked on this. Oh, sure. Oh, yeah, kind of just a consultant kind of deal. Now, you probably noticed the uh, mysterious obelisk in the center of the room. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, you know, we, we get all sorts of fun surprises in here. I thought that was maybe a torture device or something. Mm -hmm. This is the guest obelisk. Oh. That sounds not designed for torture, which is great. No, it's a, it's a friendly conduit through which we can uh, let artists that didn't die immediately after signing a contract uh, help out down here. So uh, we have uh, with us uh, cartoonist Jacob Andrews. Oh, hey guys. Hey. hey, Jacob. Hey, what happened to my body? Uh, it's alive. It's in stasis. You just, uh, just your spirit has been transmitted down here. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah, great. Perfect. Welcome to hell, bud. Yeah. Uh, thanks. This sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad. You get used to it. Well, I'm going to get started. Absolutely. So yeah, I think using elements of Norse mythology, but having it be indiscernible enough that we're clear legally. Mm-hmm. I think we got to take the like uh, Disney major motion picture approach and just kind of mm -hmm. take a, a lovable mythology and bastardize it into a uh, child friendly story. I like that a lot. I'm just gonna sort of draw rough in our our main character. I think. So Nathan, what are we what are we working with here? I thought it'd be fun to you know forego some of the the more mainstream Norse gods and tackle what I think to be a real a real interesting position, which is God of Death. Ooh. Now, who is the god of death traditionally in Norse mythology? In Norse mythology, the god of death is hell. No relation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hell with one L. This is Mel. <laughs> Mel, okay. Yeah, like maybe short for Melissa, I don't know. Mel, the god of Melissa. <laughs> I feel like um, like a, a, a teen sort of... Um, like a teen reaper. A teen reaper. That's great. She has to navigate the troubles and, and tribulations of, of being the goddess of death, but also... Uh, all the issues that come with with being a, a teen girl. Right. Please take this uh, take this away from me. There's a lot of great animals in Norse mythology, but I think my favorite is um, Odin's horse Sleipner. Yeah. Uh, and that's a horse that has, I think, four extra legs. Uh huh. But I think if you know anything about me, that's not nearly enough extra <laughs> legs. Not not enough legs. Mm -hmm. So I think this um, is going to be Slippy Neil. <laughs> Slippy Neil. Mm -hmm. oh, of course. He's so surprised. Look, look at how surprised he is. You'll you'll see why he's surprised in a second. We said eight legs. I don't think that's going to be enough. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to draw legs until Managar tells me to stop. Oh, <laughs> that's too much responsibility for one demon. <laughs> <laughs> just kind of get him going in here. Just legs, legs, legs. Yep, th those are some legs. This horse looks like he's constantly in like a Flintstones-esque like pre-run cycle. <laughs> <laughs> like he's about to take off and all of his legs are spinning. <laughs> You would think they're just constantly moving too, uh, and like I mean that is the the benefit is he can really book it. He can move very fast. More legs equal more speed. You know that to be true. All I can imagine is just the unfathomable amount of coconuts it would take to simulate the sound of this horse. <laughs> We've got this guest obelisk here. Yeah, I see you can make the the stylus float just with your mind. Yeah, isn't that wild? Do you want to draw some? Yeah, sure. I'll focus all of my spiritual energies and uh, crank something out. Sweet. This is also cool because this is the first time we've had any help besides Julia. Yeah. And um, every time Julia helps, uh, it, it helps her and not us, really. So. <laughs> I'm beginning to doubt her motives. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, Jacob, yeah, you're, like, really in the hurt box if you don't come through for us. So uh, best of luck. Yeah, don't worry. I, I got this. Hey, can I uh, suggest uh, an alternate title for the show? Oh, please. Uh, Mel on Earth. Mel on Earth. Ooh, that's good. That's very good. Yeah, I like this. This seems like a very normal fella. Uh, yeah, I, I was thinking like, you know, best friend, maybe love interest, maybe not mm -hmm, mm -hmm. sort of guy. Like a Gordo. Yeah. A hundred percent a Gordo. <laughs> I learned recently when I was looking up some Norse gods. Yeah. That there's a Norse god whose name is just Frigg. <laughs> and so 
naturally, I immediately stopped reading anything about him. Right. Because I didn't want to know anything more other than that. So I think this is like Frick. This is Frick. <laughs> and he's just kind of like a crappy teen dude. <laughs> he's short for Fritchard, yeah. Short for Fritchard, but he's just like always complaining about something. The Norse god of angst. Yeah, the Norse god of angst, Frick. Norse god of always bumping into shit. He's like, ah, oh, Frick. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, not on my jeans. Not on my jeans. Here's a stain. <laughs> so he's just got like bad luck? Wow, that sure is a love interest. <laughs> <laughs> mustard on my jeans again, Frick. <laughs> it's the third time this week I got mustard on my jeans. Ah, oh, dang it, I keep getting hit by my cars. I think I want one of his arms to be in a cast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. This is good. This is like a real tragic figure and also like very true to the like uh, high school experience where there is always just one kid in a cast. Oh, oh, geez. Oh, no, guys. We're not ready, but the crimson flame has a lit. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, God. Okay. Act, act cool. Act cool. We got this. We're so ready. Okay. Arise, Cartoonotron. Please give us mercy in your very animated protrusions. Hello, I am Cartoonotron. Hi, Cartoonotron. We got a we got a hot new show for you. It's uh it's full of death and angst. Oh my goodness! I am certainly loving this very tall drink of water. Hubba hubba. Oh, th this is Jacob. Oh, hey, that's me. Thank you. I've been working out. Could I get your numbers? Any numbers will do. I am a robot. I just like numbers. It doesn't need to be a phone number. Sure. How about, uh, uh, 723 Yowza. I'll talk to you later, big fella. But for now, I need to make a cartoon. Oh, here you go. <laughs> Frig, I had a really great time with you today. Me too. You make me feel so different but in, like, a good way. Mel, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Oh, my other god! Oh, I forgot to do my Reaponomics homework! Ugh, I've got to harvest 100 souls by tomorrow morning! Who wants ice cream? Oh, no! Wow! Don't worry, Frig! I'll save you! Oh, no, 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 don't! <laughs> Ah, oh, dang, my favorite shirt. Ah. Seven and eight, 99. Oh, oh, my heart. 100, amazing. Oh. oh, Frick, thank you so much. You really are my best friend. Mwah. Ah, Frig. All right, uh, listen, I'm going to have to interrupt you guys. Uh, turns out this is only an episode preview. Hmm. To watch the rest of the episode, you got to go to dropout.tv and sign up for Dropout. Oh, dropout.tv. I've heard of that. Yeah, it's a new original video streaming service with uh, original shows and comics and text chats. Wait. Our torment is just entertainment? I mean, it's also an engaging and hilarious weekly showcase of your creative talents. Aww. I think in the pilot episode, she breaks off her tail to escape some kind of situation. Oh, yeah, like a, a meeting that's going poorly? <laughs> 